Okay, there we are. Oh, we need some light. There we go. Okay, here we are. There we go. We're getting live on both Facebook and YouTube. Give it just a minute, everybody, as we connect everybody together, everything together. There we go. Okay, that one's set up. That one's set up. Okay, now I think we are good here. We're now, oh, there we go. Okay, we're now live on both broadcasts. Beautiful. Okay, we are live. Excellent, excellent. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Martial Arts History Museum. Here I am. My name is Michael Matsuda. I'm president and founder of the museum. I thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Troy Ransom. Thank you, Troy, for tuning in. Gio Perez. Very cool. So Robert McCullough. Thank you very much, Robert, for tuning in. Thank you, guys, always for tuning in. I, I feel like we're family here. We're family here, hanging out, just talking a good talk, having a good time. Uh, Robert says, hope you are well. We're doing well over here. Uh, in uh, sunny Southern California. Uh, Gio Perez says, great timing. It is a freezing, a freezing 72 degrees here in Southern California. I have my sweater on. It is that cold here. <laughs> I know. Yeah, California, that's when we're frozen. When it hits low 70s, we're freezing out here. Anyway, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, what's new, what's happening, what's going on at the Martial Arts History Museum. Uh, today, I spent the day at uh, Teen Karate Centers, and um, uh, Robert says, we are family. There you go. There you go. We are family. Uh, we are martial arts, martial arts. We are one big family. We are. That we are. That we are. You know, it's a big community, but it's a small community. It is. It is. So, uh, Robert says, it's minus uh, zero here. <laughs> a minus over there. Wow, wow, I can't imagine that, can't imagine that. You know, I'm freezing at 72, freezing here. Anyway, um, anyway, I was just today at Teen Karate Centers. I spent the day with Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell, that was kind of cool. You know, Chuck Liddell, the uh, UFC fighter. And then uh, with, uh, along with Benny the Jet Yukitas. So uh, the three of us uh, with Fire Wars, the four of us, uh, Fire Wars at Jacques and Teen Karate Centers, the four of us hung out together. Uh, um, Chuck Liddell has a, some type of series. I can't say the details because I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I'm just going to say he was there doing some shooting and that was kind of cool to hang around with those guys. So uh, I would have put him online here with you guys, but uh, right now they're shooting something and they're not going to permit it. So I just, I was going to do the broadcast from there, but you know, I had, uh, they were talking and shooting and I had to shut down when they're shooting and you know, and I couldn't get him on online anyway, so that was all right. But I did it from here instead. So anyway, it was a good time to hang out with Chuck Liddell and those guys. So uh, very, very cool. So anyway, um, uh, in case you are on uh, Facebook, if you don't mind to jump over to YouTube and watch uh, us at the this live broadcast is on um, on YouTube on the Martial Arts History Museums. Uh, YouTube channel right now it's live so if you watch us live on YouTube we get points so that's the thing where are we on points excellent question <laughs> uh, we as you know YouTube requires 1,000 viewing hours I mean I'm sorry 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 viewing hours to be eligible to put commercials on your YouTube channel and you get a little money from it Okay, before it was not that way, but now it's that way. So thanks to all of you, we have over a thousand subscribers in three months, and we are just five hundred short, just about five hundred short of getting the viewing hours. How cool is that? We keep picking up like fifty to a hundred a day now. Uh, we are now all the way up to. Uh, so we're now at 3,500, about 3,500 viewing hours. And we just picked up another, what, 60 or something like that last night. So uh, we are almost there. I would say probably by next week. Next week, we should have uh, uh, the last, uh, you know, 500 viewing hours. And that'll be fantastic. And then what happens, uh, YouTube sends us an email and says, okay, you reach the amount. And uh, they're going to look at it, and uh, they're going to take a month to, I don't know why they take a month, but it's going to take a month to approve it. And if they approve it and they like it, then they'll say, okay, 
we will uh, monetize you, and then that'll be fantastic. So let's uh, pray that it all goes through. And thank you, everybody, for your help, for helping us get monetized. That's very cool, and that will help us a lot. Robert uh, says uh, 4,000 by the weekend. There you go. There you go. I love it. Love it. Uh, let's see who else has signed on. Jose has signed on. Thank you, Jose. Very nice of you. He says, Konnichiwa. There you go. Very good. Sigong Angel Albert Velasquez. Sigong Velasquez, how are you? Thank you for signing on. Dr. Carl Totten, where have you been, my friend? Where have you been? I miss Dr. Totten who comes over. Uh, the museum doors are open Thursday through Sunday. And uh, please stop on by. He says, looking forward for the Hall of Fame book, volume four. There you go. There you go, sir. There you go. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, again, if you're just signing on, I just met up with uh, today. I spent the day with Chuck Liddell and Benny the Jet Yukitas. What a fighter. Uh, Todd Pete is watching. Thank you, Todd. Thank you very much. Uh, Benny just did some wonderful um, techniques for us. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, I guess I'm drink here. Uh, sorry about that. Throat's a little dry. So anyway, uh, Benny uh, did some uh, techniques for the new expert class that we're getting ready to launch. And that's going to be pretty exciting. So we're trying to get Chuck Liddell to do some stuff. I'm not sure if we can get him today. There's a whole film crew today, so I, I'm not sure. But we'll try to get it later on. That would be pretty nice. So anyway, we've got a lot of people signed up already on the expert class as far as putting videos together for us. And uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. It's going to be pretty exciting. You know, I was going to wait to get everybody's video on there because if you, uh, our expert class is uh, going to be located in two areas, uh, marshallshop.com. That is, and but also it's on YouTube. So if you go to the Martial Arts History Museum's YouTube channel, the expert class is all going to be there, but it's also on marshallshop.com, and that actually links to YouTube, the same thing. So it doesn't matter. But uh, the, uh, the Marshall Shop website will have it more organized. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. You can still watch it all on YouTube. So we were going to wait till we had everybody's video in, but, you know, everybody's been asking me, go ahead and put it on there. We'd like to see it. So that's what I did. I'm doing now. I'm putting it on there now. I'm not yet. I'm getting it ready. I'm starting to edit the videos. And uh, I think I will have those uh, probably ready. Probably. I'm aiming for this weekend. This weekend coming up. I'm aiming for this weekend to launch it. So we'll be a little ahead of schedule. So that, that'll be good. That'll be good. And that way we'll get a lot more hits. And uh, that'll be exciting. So very cool. Uh, let's see who else is online. Uh, let's see. Troy says a thumbs up. Uh, Robert says, Benny the Jet, absolute legend. Yeah, it was great to have Benny there today. He also did a um, uh, talk about inspiration and different things like that. He did that. We recorded that. So that's going to be put on there as well. So that's that's kind of neat to do with Benny. So Benny the Jet, your kid, Sensei Benny. So that's going to be very nice. Just talked to Sensei Cecil Peoples just a few moments ago, and he's going to help us out on that, that area as well. So everybody's been cooperating very nicely to launch our expert class. And then also in combination with the expert class, we're also doing words of wisdom and then the uh, shopping cart. But uh, shopping carts may take a little while, but we'll see. Uh, Robert McCullough says, when are you doing the museum tour? Uh, I would say probably in about a month because uh, we have about maybe three shots lined up, three Mondays uh, lined up. And the guy who's going to shoot it for me is off on Monday. And we have them lined up uh, for do some shoots. So uh, I have to get with him and see when he can schedule it in. Because we've got a bunch of biographies uh, that we're shooting coming up. And I've got to go get those in the can, shall we say. And then uh, uh, release those on uh, DVD and uh, also here on YouTube. So uh, excellent question, Robert. Uh, I'll find out from him. I'll probably see him. Uh, let me see. Probably, oh, Monday. I have, I'll see him Monday because he's coming over for a shoot. And to see what he says when we can do that. So we'll go for that. So excellent question. Very wise. Someone asked me this question, and maybe one of you can answer it. It came in as a query today. And he says, uh, he says, hey, where did Bruce Lee come up with all the, the those screams? You know, he goes, wah, and all that. You know, I don't do it well. <laughs> I know, I do it terrible. 
<laughs> and and all those screams he did. And the guy says, are those for the movies? Or I don't see it in any video of him training people. And, you know, I don't hear him with the sounds. And it was an excellent question. He's trying to find out. He contacted a lot of people trying to find out where Bruce Lee, why Bruce Lee made those sounds. And does he usually make those sounds as part of the art that he does? And then uh, I wrote back and I said, I have no idea. <laughs> I said, it was probably for the movies, probably, you know, but I have no idea. I don't know who to ask. You know, I have no idea. He, The person who's inquiring, I checked with Daniel Rosanto. He never got a reply back. He checked with the Bruce Lee Foundation, never got a reply back. So he asked me. And uh, I, I have no idea. No idea. If you guys know, let me know. But uh, I have no idea. It's probably for the movies, you know, probably for the movies. It sounds pretty cool. You have to admit, you know. <laughs> uh, Robert says, cool. Can't wait dying to have a look at the place. I hope you enjoy the place when we do the tour. Uh, Robert wants to know about the museum tour. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to schedule a live museum tour here pretty soon. Pretty soon. Uh, Robert says, not sure, probably just wanted to be different, a great thing for the movies. Yes, it was, the Bruce Lee scream. It was a great thing in the movies. It sounded wonderful. I, I don't think it would have been Bruce Lee's movies without the, that great yells and all that. That was pretty good. I like the one where he steps on that guy. I won't say that guy's name to give him any credit because he's not. I just won't say anymore. I'm just, I'm just going to say I like that scream when he beat that one guy. And he's like stepping on him on the end. Please don't mention his name. And uh, and uh, I, I like that scream. He did pretty good. Pretty good. You know, Bruce Lee was an actor as well. Just a terrific actor. So anyway, uh, let's see. Carl Totten says, Bruce did them only for dramatic effects for the movies, not in person. There you go. There you go. And who would know better than Dr. Carl Totten? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, uh, Dr. Totten, uh, Seagung. Uh, Albert and uh, all you guys who are watching me on Facebook, if you have the opportunity, can you jump over to YouTube, uh, you know, sign in and, and locate the museum's YouTube channel and watch me live from there? If, if you don't mind, if you can do it, if, if you can, then that's okay. But if you can do it, if you can watch me from YouTube, that would be great because all the, the minutes that are being watched on YouTube are all going to count for the uh, you know the, uh, the the time for us to get monetized. If you watch me on Facebook, which is fine, no problem. You want to stay on Facebook watching me? That's okay, no problem at all. But if you can switch over to uh, uh, YouTube, watch me on the Martial Arts History Museum's channel, YouTube channel, and uh, that way we get the points of everybody watching. And believe me, it accumulates. It really does. The more people watching this video. The the, um, the amount of points we got. I think one of the last videos we did, we got 20, 20 viewing hours from just one hour worth of time. So that was pretty good. That's not too bad. So it's the secrets of, uh, of YouTube, which I will tell you all, as soon as we hit the 4,000 viewing hours and we get approved, and then I'm going to make a big, big video. And, uh, and this way you guys can learn how to, to get your stuff and do what we did to uh, get monetized. So we're going to have that on them. Uh, let's see, Robert. Robert's making Bruce Lee sound. Very good. Uh, tell them there's a free bar. They will, will soon come on here. There you go. There you go, Robert. Excellent. Let's see who else over here. Uh, Carl Totten says, yep, only for the movies. Todd Pete says, hello. Hello, Todd. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I uh, just want to say a big... Big many thank yous to so many people who donated. We had the fundraiser. I want to say thank you. We've got really close to meeting our total goal. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we raised $22,000. So thank you, everybody, for doing that. We really did need it, and uh, it's going to really help out the museum. So thank you all for being part of it. Uh, Marcel Smith says, I'm watching from both Facebook Live on my phone and YouTube on my TV. Thank you so much. Marcel Smith, thank you. The great, great Marcel Smith. Thank you for doing that. You know, I noticed a lot of people are broadcasting their stuff on YouTube, on TV. I got to learn how to do that. I no idea how to do that stuff. You know, when it comes to this new stuff, I don't even know anything. You know, today when I was uh, at Teen Karate Centers and Chuck Liddell was there, 
the guy next door, his name is Bradley Martin. He runs a, a web a gym called the Zoo, and um, or just Zoo, and uh, he has his zoo open. He's the guy that's been in the news a lot that, that didn't close the gym. Remember that? I don't know if you guys remember that, but they didn't. They wouldn't close the gym and had the police there, the news there, and all that. And he's getting fined for every day that he's open. He's still getting fined right now for it. But anyway, he can't. He get. He's got. <laughs> A YouTube channel. He makes like twenty to forty thousand a month on it on his YouTube channel, just doing weightlifting stuff. Anyway, he came by today uh, and to hang out, say hello to Chuck Liddell and all of us there. He really didn't come to see me or anybody there. He just wanted to see Chuck Liddell, so that's why he came over to say hello. But uh, it was kind of neat to have everybody there. So anyway, uh, Robert says you cast it on your TV. Yeah, I got to figure out that casting part. <laughs> you know. So, this stuff is all new to me. You know, it's still new to me, even though we were there in the early days, you know, learning how to do this. Uh, you know, the kids today pick it up so fast. You know, I got to I got to find an eight year old to help me how to do it. <laughs> Who said that? I forgot. Oh, yeah. the On the interview, the interview, I think that that uh, show with um, uh, Robert De Niro and then guys. on it. That was the best I ever saw him on that, that, that movie. Uh, Graham's Fight Corner says, hi, Sifu. Hi, hey, how are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Graham's is on there. Uh, wanna, learning Monkey Kung Fu. There you go. Learning Monkey Kung Fu. I took you guys' advice. Um, I am working on my own biography DVD. And again, it was shot a couple of years ago, so I'm a little thinner back then. <laughs> Since the COVID, hadn't worked out too much. But anyway, uh, you'll see it. You go, is that my quote? Yeah, that's what you'll say. <laughs> but anyway, I went ahead and put some clips of uh, me doing monkey kung fu, and I put it in there. And then I found another clip of my students that, that I'm teaching my students, and I found another clip of that. So I put it on there as well, so you guys can enjoy uh, part of the class that I was teaching uh, as well. So that's going to be on the uh, my personal biography DVD. Uh, I'm going to be releasing it here on YouTube. I would say probably uh, next week. Uh, I was working on it hard, but, you know, I kept adding stuff to it, more and more stuff to it. So I would say probably next week I'll launch that. I'm not sure what day yet. Um, we are launching Leo Fong's, um, <clears throat> Leo Fong's uh, uh, biography. That'll be launched on Wednesday, on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to do a live broadcast from Leo Fong's house on Wednesday. I believe uh, it's at uh, uh, 3 o'clock, I think. But double check. It's on the Facebook page. It's on the Facebook page. Uh, but double check. It's going to be a live broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and do a QA and a uh, with him. So if you are a big Bruce Lee fans, and uh, Leo Fong was a close, very close personal friend of Bruce Lee. Uh, it was because of Leo that uh, Ji Kune Do really uh, took off because of Leo Fong. You know, he's the guy that made suggestions to Bruce what to do and gave him great advice. And that was part of it. And um, so we're going to have a QA. and uh, You can do just like here, just like we're doing right now. And we're going to do it with Leo Fong. So Leo Fong and I will be together. And so you can ask him any questions you want about Bruce Lee. And he is the resource. You know, he was with him all that time. So um, great, great stories from him. And uh, so we're going to do that on um, on this Wednesday coming up. Uh, again, check, check the Facebook after I'm done. Uh, it'll be on the, one of the Facebook pages of the museum's Facebook page. And it'll tell you the time. I think it's at 3 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. Pretty sure on Wednesday. And uh, we're going to have a great conversation. And then after that, we'll provide the link to Leo Fong's biography. So again, even though some of the biographies are already there live, and actually you can watch Leo Fong's biography, it is now on the museum's YouTube channel. But we're going to kind of make it new. You know what I mean? We didn't do the announcements before. I didn't know how to do it. That's why. But we didn't do the announcements before. Now I learned how to do the announcements. So now I'm doing a video of them, each, everybody who has a biography, a DVD, and we're going to have a little announcement uh, on here on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And so that's going to be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Okay, Robert, uh, let's see. Robert McCullough says 11 p.m. my time. Yay, I will be home for that. Wow, very good. 11 p.m. Wow, I had no idea the time difference over there. 
So let's see who else is watching over here. I'm scrolling on each side. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to go over here and scroll. Okay. There you go. Doug Hansen is watching. Doug, thank you very much. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Robert McCullough says uh, eight hour time difference. Wow. That's huge. So you guys are already there, you know, way ahead of us. So, um, very cool, very cool. Uh, Doug, uh, Robert's all the way from the UK, correct? Over there, uh, uh, that's uh, pretty far away. Very good. Jay Schuler is watching. Jay, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate everybody watching. So anyway, uh, what else is coming up? Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. Going back to the expert class. So I'm gonna go ahead, and we're gonna start releasing those pretty soon. Uh, the website is almost almost done. And we're going to start putting up the videos, and then we'll tell you when that comes out. But we're going to release it, even though we don't have everybody's DVD. Uh, I think it'll just be fun. You know, we got like five of them already. So I'll just edit those and then uh, start putting those up uh, in another week, probably. And um, that way, people, everybody can enjoy it and come back and look for more. Uh, I want to thank Stephen Hayes, the ninja himself. The Ninja himself made a nice DVD uh, video for us. I want to say thank you to Graciela Casillas, who's already made a video for us. Uh, Benny the Jet Euclides just made a video for us. And uh, Fireboys Ajac made a video for us. And then uh, Felix Royles, uh, doing Kali, has, has made a video for us. And uh, so I want to thank you for all those who already made a video for us uh, in, uh, recently and send it to us. And uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, expert class on marshallshop.com. So very good. Uh, Doug says, uh, make sure our friends are watching the ads when they come on YouTube. Oh, watching the ads. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, Doug. Uh, excellent. Doug brought up the point of uh, YouTube. You know, once we get monetized, once we get monetized, uh, they put advertisements on on our uh, YouTube uh, channel, on all the videos, and and that's how we get paid. You know, that's how we get paid from the ads. So the longer Rob, uh, uh, Doug says uh, to watch ads. So if the the video goes on there and there's an ad in front, let the ad play. <laughs> let it play. Don't skip the ad. Let it play, and that's how we get monetized. That's how the money comes in if you watch the ad, okay? If you skip the ad, we don't get anything, okay? So watch the ad if you can, and uh, that'll be pretty cool. That'll help us out a lot. So I'm very excited about it. I really am so excited about the YouTube channel. You know, I'm, I did one with Cynthia Rothrock. She had one channel, one one video on her channel. That was it, one video. And I said, you know, let, we got to do this together. So we formed a little company together. And her and I, we worked on it for quite a while. Uh, it's now up to almost 30,000 views. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, congrats there to Cynthia and all that. We worked so hard getting that up and, uh, you know, we're making those channels and videos and all that. And we've learned so much in that time period. So now I'm taking everything I learned putting it to the museum YouTube channel. And sure enough, uh, what took us two and a half years to do, we did it in two and a half months on YouTube. So a lot of great stuff out there, a lot of ways to make money. And uh, once I hit the 4,000 viewing hours and get approved, I'm gonna show all you guys how to do it and really work, you know, put on the screen and, and uh, get you guys through it if you wanna do it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I, it's not easy. It's not easy. You got to put stuff all the time. So I'm always researching, always putting video. You know, I haven't put a video in the last couple of days because I've been working on on this new uh, Marshall shop coming out. But uh, it's always putting up a video at least twice a week, at least twice a week. Um, uh, three times a week would be pretty good. So it's, it's, it's just a lot of work. You guys know if you do a YouTube channel, you know it's a lot of work. You know it's a lot of work. So anyway, uh, again, if you are watching from the Facebook page, and uh, if you don't mind hopping over to YouTube and watching us live from there, that'll be fantastic. Okay, uh, what else is new? Uh, let's see. Um, 
I think they're opening the doors more over here, over here in California area, Southern California. Our doors have been closed. Uh, they've been required us to have closed doors, but I think the doors are starting to open a little bit, a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I was told the gyms are able to open, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard that before. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The, the information over here is all sketchy. You know, nobody knows what's going on. So we're kind of in limbo. So anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, anybody see any great movies out there lately? Uh, that's my question to you guys. Uh, I just saw some movie. It's called The Mechanic Girl or something like that. It's a Japanese one and that she puts a machine gun on her arm. Now, it, it was pretty good <laughs> with the Yakuza and all that. That was a pretty good movie. So I think it's called The Mechanic Girl or something like that, The Mechanical Girl or something like that, or The Mechanic you know, or something like that. But uh, look it up. Uh, I typed in a girl with machine gun arm, and that, that's when I came up and I, I saw it. That was pretty kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else is coming up. Um, I hope you enjoy my biography. Um, uh, I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. I try to put a lot of stuff in there about our history of the, the museum and stuff like that, and hopefully people will enjoy it and watch it, and that'll be pretty good. But again, that's going to be next week. But I'm excited to do Leo Fong. Leo Fong is such a big resource for the martial arts, and uh, he was there. He was there. So uh, it's uh, great to have him here uh, just hang out, uh, and we'll talk a little bit on Wednesday. Uh, Kempo Joe is watching. Hey, Kempo Joe. There you go, Joe Robello. Thank you, my friend, for watching. I hope. Uh, thumbs up. Kempo Joe, thumbs up. There you go. There you go. Rob McCullough says, just watched Jackie Chan's latest movie, Vanguard. It was pretty good. Oh, I haven't seen that. I'll have to see that. I haven't seen that. Uh, Doug Hansen says, I'm looking forward about coming down in May to visit and do some hiking. I will be sure to come by and visit. There you go. And uh, Kempo Joe says, check out Bare Knuckle Thrust on netflix excellent these are good suggestions guys keep them coming uh let's see uh everybody's talking to each other rather on amazon prime there you go i just watched um uh what was it a blast from the past uh with uh, brendan frazier i watched that last night and then uh that's a good movie really good movie and then uh, i also watched um that thing you do now i've already seen them before but it was kind of good to see those, those two movies right, right back to back last night. And that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun to watch him. Uh, uh, Kempo Joe says, Yin Yang Mastery on Netflix. Very good. So what is you, everybody's favorite martial arts movie out there? You know, there are some really good movies. I Personally, I love animation. You know, animation is a lot of fun. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is one of my favorite Probably, I would say my favorite animation, uh, you know, uh, it was a TV show, you know. That's my favorite animation, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. If you if you haven't seen it, uh, please, say, I encourage you to see it. Watch the cartoon series, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's pretty fun. Uh, a lot of kung fu in there, a lot of martial arts in there. So it's a great, great show. Uh, good for kids as well. If you got kids, it's great. You know, like that a lot. And then uh, I, I also like the, uh, you know, the Kung Fu Panda series. I think that's pretty good. In case you didn't know, uh, Kung Fu Panda series, uh, uh, movie series, also have a TV series, just in case you didn't know. I was talking to one person. They said, oh, my daughter watches uh, uh, some show. I forget what it was. And we're watching the same movie over and over every day. And I said, you know there's a cartoon series based on that character you can watch. They go, really? I say, yes. Yeah. So you don't have to watch the same movie every day. You can watch the cartoon series. So there is actually a cartoon series on uh, Kung Fu Panda. It's very well done, very well done. So let's see. Troy Ransom says his favorite movie is Enter the Dragon. Uh, Robert McCullough says Assassin X. There you go with Grandmaster Samuel Kwok and Eric Lee. Very nice, very nice. I am in Assassin X, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I know, I'm in Assassin X. Where am I Assassin X? I tell you exactly where I'm at. Okay, there's a scene where there these guys with a mask 
are charging the house and they have like a mask, a smoke mask and all that, and they're shooting at the house. That's me. <laughs> I'm one of those guys in the mask. Uh, you know, they, they, they go, they break in the house. I'm not the one that breaks in the house. I'm one of the one in the yard shooting like that, shooting my rifle or whatever it was and uh, to get in the house. So I'm in Assassin X. <laughs> uh, let's see. Betty Goldstein says, I love Kung Fu Panda. And Betty says, I love the old movies with sword fighting. Oh, yeah, they're the best. They're the best. Uh, Sean Foon, uh, thank you for tuning in, Sean. Thank you, Betty, also for tuning in. She says, uh, Iron Monkey with Donnie N. There you go. I haven't seen that one. I got to see that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, over here it says, uh, I think it for me, it's Enter the Dragon from Doug Hansen with Bruce Lee. That was an excellent movie. So well done. You know, really well done. I like that movie a lot. Uh, Robert says, an Art Camacho movie. There you go. There you go. And Robert says, Enter the Dragon for sure. You know, enter, you know, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, there is a spoof on Enter the Dragon that is so good. It's called A Fistful of Yen. Okay. A Fistful of Yen is part of a movie called Kentucky Fried Movie. Okay. Please don't watch this with kids. Okay. You know, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of stuff in that movie. Uh, it's like a bunch of skits. The whole movie is a bunch of skits. And in the center of the movie, it's like a 20-minute, 20 25-minute movie called Fistful of Yen. And it's all about Enter the Dragon. And it's a spoof, but it's a great spoof on Enter the Dragon. You know, Bong Su Han's in there, Simon Rhee's in there. A lot of wonderful people are in that movie. So it's a fantastic movie called Fistful of Yen. Uh, the guy who does Bruce Lee plays him very well. You know, excellent job. So if you have a chance, watch Kentucky Fried Movie. But again, don't see it with kids. It is not a kid's movie. I kid you not. Do not see it with kids. But it's a, the, the middle part is the part to watch. That's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, Graham says, saw this weekend the original Iron Monkey with uh, Kun Tak Chen. Uh, there you go. And then Enter the Dragon. Uh, are you no way I will watch it later? Let's see. Can, are you, I'm sorry, I'm reading these. <laughs> this Oliver Grunier. Oh yeah, Oliver Grunier in uh, of Assassin X. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, uh, he's talking about. Um, Kempo Joe is talking about the movie Assassin X that Ar Camacho made with uh, Olivier Grunier was in there. So uh, he was great. He was great. I was there uh, for many of the scenes that we shot. Uh, it was a lot of fun shooting it. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Here's a secret. Here's a secret about the movie. You know, Art, Art Camacho and I are the best of friends. We've been best friends for decades now. And um, uh, I, I see Art all the time. And uh, <laughs> some of that movie, you know, they use some locations. And I didn't know other people. People do this as well, but they go to the location. They're supposed to have permits and all that, but they don't. They go to the location. It's okay. We're shooting it and zoom. They start shooting it right there, you know, and they don't have any permits or nothing. And then they shoot it and they can run and get out of the place. So that's what Assassin X has uh, many of those. <laughs> I know I was there for one of them, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see uh, the octagon. Oh, I like the octagon. I really, uh, to me, to me, that was Chuck Norris's best movie. To me, that was his best movie. Besides, you know, Way of the Dragon was the best movie. I think they call it Return of the Dragon as well. That was, to me, Chuck Norris's best movie, Way of the Dragon. And then the Octagon was the second with Richard Norton and playing the ninja guy, the one with the red outfit with the size. That was, that was Richard Norton, in case you didn't know. He's excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Doug Henson. Uh, Kempo Joe says, and Bang Su Han. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, Robert says Drunken Master Jackie Chan. Oh, that was a good movie, The Drunken Master. I like that movie a lot. Uh, over here it says uh, Once Upon a Screen. Uh, oh, I see. That's some type of uh, Once Upon a Screen files. Captain, I can't read the whole thing, Betty. Um, I don't know what movie. Swashbuckler movie. It looks like a swashbuckler movie. Uh, Sean Foon says Beverly Hills Ninja. That was great. Uh, I enjoyed Beverly Hills Ninja a lot. 
Uh, Robin Chu, right, was in there. So he did a great job. Robin's a great guy, great guy. Been in the museum many times, helped us out many times. Thank you, Robin. Uh, come to the Dragon Fest and all that. That was very kind of him. Uh, let's see. Over here on this side, it says, um, uh, Doug Hansen says, it's a great movie for students over 21. He's referring to the Kentucky Fried movie, right? Yeah, Kentucky Fried movie is a really fun movie. And again, it's made up of skits, sort of like Saturday Night Live, but um, very rated R, shall we say, R uh, movie. So. So don't watch it with kids. Do not watch it with kids. I'm telling you that. So anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, Robert says, Nico, Mark for death, out for justice. There you go. And American Ninja from Robert McCullough. Loves American Ninja. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, very good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Betty, it looks like Zorro. Is that Zorro on there? I can't tell, Betty. It looks like Zorro on there. I love Zorro movies. Zorro is some of my favorite movies, especially Disney Zorro. That was a good series. Disney does a fantastic job. Guy Williams, that was my favorite Zorro. Excellent, excellent guy. Uh, Would have been cool to meet these people, but, you know, we do our best to see them on the screen. We enjoy them. Uh, let's see what else is over here. Yes, yeah, Mark for Death, you know, Steven Seagal movies. I love, you know, uh, the guy who wrote... Um, What's that one with Steven Seagal on the boat? It was called, um, gosh, I, I was just talking about the other day. Uh, with Steven Seagal and the Navy ship. It was called Under Siege, Under Siege. Yes, Under Siege. Uh, the guy who actually wrote Under Siege. Oh, thank you. Everybody's coming on there, Under Siege. Thank you, everybody. Robert, thank you. J Kimbo Joe, thank you for saying that. Uh, Under Siege was, uh, the guy who wrote the movie was here. Now, here at the museum, like two weeks ago, and uh, uh, he was talking about Steven Seagal, and I, I said, you know, Steven's best movie, without a doubt, was Under Siege, to me, to me. And he says, really? What'd you like about it? And I told him about it, and he goes, I wrote that movie. And sure enough, there was his name in the credits. He wrote the movie. So that was pretty neat to have him here. But I didn't even know that, so I'm bragging about the movie in front of him, and he's the guy that wrote it. So that was, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool to see that. So that was a great movie, Under Siege. Just a, I think, I think myself, uh, one of the best movies that uh, Steven Skull was in. Uh, let's see. Over here it says, uh, Sean Food says, Kentucky Fried Movie, Big Jim Slade, and Cleopatra Swartz. Oh, that was great. Yeah, I love that. I love that movie. Oh, Betty says, yes, it's Zorro. There you go. Thank you, Betty. Betty's putting some pictures up over here saying her favorite movie. It's one of the Zorro movies. Oh, it's fantastic. Love the Zorro movies. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, Marcel Smith says, Revenge of the Ninja. Yeah, I love those ninja movies. You know, they were fantastic. You know, Shokasugi was, without a doubt, one of the best ninja, movie ninjas I've ever seen. He's just fantastic uh, ninja, you know, uh, as a ninja. He's not a real ninja, but uh, it, was, it was great to see him. His best role is as, as a ninja. Uh, let's see. I think his son is doing, Kane is doing a, a ninja movie here and there. Uh, let's see. Robert says, Big Trouble, Little China. Yep. Yep. Right. Big Trouble, Little China. Uh, great movie. Uh, Enter the Ninja. Uh -huh. uh, Kempo Joe says, Evan Kim portrayed the Bruce Lee character in Fistful of Yen. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, the guy who did uh, Fistful of Yen, Evan Kim. Uh, was fantastic, fantastic guy. He was a lot of fun. You know, he was very talented. So uh, Fistful of Yen, that was part of the Kentucky Fried movie. Um, you got to see it. You got to see it. It's 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 a blast to watch. It really is a blast. Um, <laughs> um, Bong Suhan, he, uh, I met with Bong uh, Suhan, uh, Sensei Bong Suhan, uh, you know, Bob, uh, you know, he was a good guy, great guy. We saw him all the time. He helped out the museum a lot. I was over there at his school many times. And uh, I had someone wanted to get his autograph. And he says, can you have him sign? Uh, you have my gratitude. And that was um, his key word in the, in the movie, uh, Kentucky Pride movie, in Fistful of Yen. He would say, you have my gratitude. And so 
uh, I wrote it down and then he signed it, you know, uh, which is kind of cool to have them have him do that. Um, uh, he was embarrassed of the movie, <laughs> Bong Han. He really was. He was embarrassed of the movie. Even then, although he did a fantastic job and the kicking scenes he did at the end were superb. I said, that's Hop Keto at its best right there. And uh, it was a, it was a fun movie to watch, but uh, it's a crack up. Now, if you watch Fistful of Yen, something to watch out for. Uh, Simon Rhee is in the movie. And there is a part in Enter the Dragon. Remember that? Uh, Han yells out when, when Bruce Lee is going, starting to beat up his people. And he's starting to yell out the names of the people to go attack him. Okay, he got this guy and this guy and this guy to go attack Bruce. That's in Enter the Dragon. Now in in um, in uh, Kentucky Fried Movie, in the in the Fistful of Yen, uh, Bong Su Han needs to yell out names of people to attack this guy, Ivan Kim, okay, in the movie. So uh, he, uh, Bong Su Han says to Simon Rhee, he says, you know, I don't know enough of Korean names to yell them out, you know, to, to, to go and attack. And so Simon says, well, why don't you just yell out some Korean foods? You know, you know, kimchi and, you know, all, I don't know all the Korean foods. And he goes, okay, that sounds good. So if you watch Kentucky Fried Movie, watch a part where Bong Joon Han's yelling the names of the people to attack the Bruce Lee guy, and he's yelling all the uh, Korean foods. So <laughs> that's a little tidbit. That's a little tidbit you guys got to know. So uh, all this crazy stuff in Kentucky Fried Movie. It was a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of fun movie. You'll quote that movie forever. Okay, let's see. Uh, Meal on Wheels. That was a fantastic movie. Uh, Benny the Jet Yukitas is in that with um, with uh, uh, Jackie Chan. You know, here's another tidbit. Another tidbit. You guys probably know these tidbits but I'm just throwing it out there in case you didn't know. Uh, he was, and I, I found this out when we were doing the interview. If you saw the interview of Benny the Jet Yukitas, you'll, you'll know this. Um, he was fighting with Benny. Uh, uh, Benny was fighting with uh, Jackie Chan. And uh, ben, Jackie kept setting, saying, hit me harder, hit me harder. So that's why you see him in the movie actually hitting pretty hard. And they are hitting hard in the movie because Jackie kept telling him to hit harder. Now, everybody, all the crew said, you're hitting him too hard. And then uh, Jackie says, no, he's not. Go ahead. And and that's a lot of real hitting in that movie. So it really is. So uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, Graham says, museum has the original mask of Revenge of the Ninja. Yes, we do. Yes, we have the original mask. That is quite correct. So, um, you know, uh, it was give donated to us by uh, Steve Lambert. So thank you, Steve, for doing that. It's the actual mask. And and I mentioned this uh, many times, you guys heard me say this before, uh, many times that, uh, you know, people have stuff in their garage or stuff that is historic in their closet. And I say, guys, you know, it's nice to be donated to the museum, you know, it'd be kind of cool. So Steve Lambert had the actual mask uh, from Revenge of the Ninja in his drawer. So he'd open the drawer every few years or whatever and see the mask and say, okay, and put it back in. And he opened the drawer a few years later. Oh, okay, looked at the mask and put it back in. And he says, what am I doing here looking at the mask in my drawer? Why don't I donate it to the Martial Arts History Museum? That way I can visit the mask anytime. Everybody else can appreciate the mask in the museum. And everybody will, you know, everybody his name will be on there and everything. And there it is. It's donated there. His name is on there, which is kind of cool. So uh, it's kind of nice to have the mask. Uh, you know, you want to see the mask? You know, I'm, I'm going to give me two seconds, guys. Give me two seconds. I'm going to slide it over here so that way you can see it. Okay. So hold on two seconds. It's a cool mask. You're going to love it. So give me a second. I'm going to slide it right here next to me so you guys can enjoy it. So wait a second, okay? Okay, look what I got here. 
Look what I got here. <laughs> there it is. Isn't that cool? It's on sliders, so I can slide it here. This is the actual mask from the movie Revenge of the Ninja, uh, donated to us by Steve Lambert. So isn't that a cool looking mask? So that's the kind of treat. You know, the, everything in the museum is movable, so I'm able to move this. And it was close by, so I can put it right here. So anyway, there you got a little sneak peek of something in the museum behind me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, someone says, police story they watch. Uh, Kempo Joe says, challenge of the East for me with Gordon Liu. Oh, there you go. Gordon Liu, what a, what a great actor he is. Uh, Robert McCullough says, Jim Cotta. <laughs> there you go, Robert. Uh, 